All right, so I don't normally make these kinds of videos, but several people I've shown this method to liked it and I haven't seen anyone else talk about doing it this way. So we're going to do a video today on how to get the best crop for your VR gameplay so you can get both the highest quality and also the most FOV so that you can accurately show your viewers what you're seeing in the headset. Because just getting something like the desktop or Steam VR mirror, eh, sometimes it's either low quality or cuts out a lot of what you see inside the actual headset. For this, we're going to be using the OpenVR input capture because while plenty of guides exist, we're going to be doing something a little different though. For demonstration's sake, I'll be using the Pimax Crystal here because its aspect ratio makes this one of the most effective methods for recording, but the same principle can work with any headset. But anyway, once you have it installed, uh, link in, uh, instructions and link for it will be in the description. You're going to select the OpenVR capture as a source, just like this, and uh, you can see that's obviously not fit for recording. This is where you'd normally crop your window manually if using something without a preset crop. I did that another video on that, but we're not going to be doing that here. And I want to illustrate the point why, because if we look at this crop I made doing it the normal way I've seen most people recommend, if, as you can see, I'm losing a lot of vertical FOV here. And I don't, I'm going to pl play some footage right now, but it, personally to me, this kind of extreme crop kind of gets a little bit of a zoomed in kind of feeling look to it especially compared to a lot of gameplay footage I see versus say flat screen stuff. And that feeling then gets much worse if you use the desktop mirror window because look at the footage right now. It's a lot more zoomed in than even my normal crop is. So we can do a lot better. So anyway, going back to OBS, you're going to right click on your open VR capture. Once you have it up, you're going to scroll down to the transform tab and then you're going to choose stretch to screen. Now, and as you can see, we have the whole FOV now, but this also isn't going to work for recording. So then you're going to do hold alt plus left click and you're going to click and drag just like you would crop normally to get all of the black area off the screen here. We don't want that ruining the recording. And once you've gotten a satisfactory crop. All right, there you go. Um, yes, we are still losing some vertical FOV if we compare to the uh, full uncropped right eye, but we're still seeing so much more compared to the normal method that uh, I think really works nicely um, in an actual recording. Yes, if you look closely, there is technically slightly warped, but let me show some footage on screen right now to demonstrate my point. In motion, the warping is subtle enough that I doubt most people are going to notice it. But it, again, it just gets you so much more FOV. I've been using it for all the footage in my last eight, counting this one, videos, and it's worked pretty well. I much prefer it to the usual style I see people recommend. And because this is the direct capture of what's being fed to your headset, the quality isn't limited by something like your monitor's resolution, like say a desktop mirror would be if you wanted to record 4K but only had 1080p screen. While I've also noticed the desktop mirror just tends to be lower quality in general versus the open VR capture. The major caveat to this, though, is that it does require the use of Steam VR, but it does work with Open XR via Steam VR, despite the plugin name. You may still be able to do this with other headsets runtimes, though. I know there's an Open XR specific plugin that works similar to this one. I will link it in the description. So this may still be worth giving a try, even if you don't use Steam VR, if you want to try and get more uh, better recordings. The further away your headset is from a 16 by 9 ratio, the more effective I think this method is going to be at getting more FOV. But even aside from that, personally, I find it so much faster to set up compared to a normal crop and would recommend everyone at least give it a try. You might end up with a lot more to look at in your recordings. And there is the tutorial. Hope this ends up being of use to someone. If you like the video, even if it's not what I usually make, consider sticking around to see what I do next. Let me know if it worked for you. And if uh, you don't stick around, thanks for stopping by anyway. Later.